Will the Bengals beat the Titans and improve to 2-2 two and two on the season? Hi again, everyone, and welcome in to Cincinnati Bengals Talk. I'm James Rapine of AllBengals.com here at Nissan Stadium in Nashville, where the Bengals getting set. In fact, they just arrived for today's AFC showdown, and this is a big game for a bunch of reasons. Obviously, the Bengals got off to a slower start this season. If they can find a way to get to 2-2 two and two before Arizona and before Seattle, you feel pretty good about the first month of the season. You get back to even, but there's some factors in that, and it starts, obviously, and it ends with Joe Burrow's calf. Now, he practiced in full all week long. I think the Bengals are expecting and sort of hoping for him to be able to do a little bit more this week than he did on Monday night. I know he's confident that he's going to be able to do a bit more from an athleticism standpoint, certainly moving around in the pocket. And so that's certainly a, a big, big storyline today with Jeffrey Simmons and that Titans defensive line waiting for him. I think the Bengals offensive line has been really good so far this season for the most part. They're going to get tested again today. And like I said, Simmons on the interior of that Titans defensive front. He sets the tone, but they have a bunch of guys up front that the Bengals not only have to be aware of, but, and this is why we got so many AFC North references this week, but they have to be ready for a physical, draw it out type game. And I think that's why, to me, this defense is the key. Usually you would say it's Joe Burrow. I don't know what Joe Burrow is going to be today. What I do expect him to do is take care of the ball, make good decisions like he did on Monday Night Football. And so if he does those things and the defense plays at the level that they're capable of playing with Trey Hendrickson getting sacks and had a couple the other night and could have had more, and not just him, DJ Reader got in on the sack party early on. You need Reader to help contain Derrick Henry. And this team has done a great job of that in these matchups with the Titans. This is year three here in Nissan Stadium where the Bengals have played here. So it's uh, their home away from home, so to speak. And so the Bengals, they're trying to make it four in a row over the Titans. They also beat the Titans in Joe Burrow's rookie season. It was, uh, it was their second win of the year. So we will see if they can handle that. But, yeah, I think that this is going to be one of those uglier type games. The Bengals going to be without two key pieces, at least since we've talked to you. Irv Smith Jr. rolled out and they were able to promote Tanner Hudson or elevate Tanner Hudson rather from the practice squad for today's game. He'll go back to the squad tomorrow following the game. But he was good the other day and had a couple of catches, had a nice seam route and 30 yards receiving. We'll see if he can continue that. Clearly has a pretty good rapport with Joe Burrow. And, and to me, he's a, a good weapon, a good backup plan at tight end as far as pass catching goes when you don't have a guy like Irv Smith Jr., who they obviously brought in to fill that role this offseason. And the other, the other thing to watch that stinks, to be quite frank with you, Charlie Jones on injured reserve. He's going to miss the next four games. He won't be eligible to return until the Bengals play the Bills on Monday night football in November. So that's a while from now. Sunday night football, excuse me. So that's a while from now. And in the meantime, Zach Taylor didn't reveal who the Bengals will have at punt returner. I think it's going to be Trenton Irwin. That's something to watch today as well. Whoever handles those punt return duties, how do they handle them? How do they look? Are they comfortable? Certainly something to watch. And just since we're on Darren Simmons' unit, I know there's a lot of eyeballs on Brad Robbins as well. It's a really nice day today. It's supposed to get to, I'd say, around 85-ish degrees here. So this is perfect punting weather and perfect football weather. So we'll see if Brad Robbins can have his best game of the season uh, I know it's been a, a shaky performance so far for the rookie as he finds his footing in the NFL. To me, this game is going to come down to the trenches. Can you protect Joe Burrow and not need him to roll out and move and go off script and do all the things that we know he's capable of doing? Joe Mixon has been running the ball hard. If you can get him going, that would certainly help. And then on the flip side, put some heat on Ryan Tannehill, pressure him, force him into making some mistakes. There's a lot of pressure on this Titans team at 1-2 and two coming into today. Uh, to, to show that they're still a playoff contender. I think that that's part of it here. Meanwhile, the Bengals, there's even more pressure because they came in with Super Bowl aspirations. You fall to one and three, it's really, really tough sledding with the, the schedule that they have. But even without that, regardless of that, falling to one and three is just not something you want to do. If you can get to two and two, it would be huge for this Bengals team getting some momentum going into Arizona next week. Make sure you check out allbengals.com. We'll have you covered there 
all day long, certainly post-game, and we'll have you covered here, of course, post-game, whether it's Joe Burrow's reaction to the, the game, win, lose, draw, same thing with Zach Taylor, locker room reaction, Jamar Chase, and others right here on Cincinnati Bengals Talk. So hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, and we will talk to you post-game right here on CBT. Thank you so much for watching. For Andrew Fox Miller, I'm James Erpine.